everyone and welcome. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I, can't well. do, I can't do the whole thing because it feels so cheesy to me. Uh, uh, but hello, hi, we're back. Hi. Ad number one is American Family Insurance. American Family Insurance. Yep. I get a variety and, of ads, apparently. And, I don't think... uh, the second one is McDonald's. <laughs> so, uh, so who are you again? Um, I'm Isaac Tiredway. Hi, I'm Dragon Cheatingway, and I made an oops. Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, so you can probably see it by now. Um, there's a story attached to this. Uh, and it's, it's a very short one, but as I mentioned last time, uh, so first off, I do have to say, last time I forgot to mention something. So the time that we, uh, turned into a paladin, that whole week I had been obsessed with the song, um, Dark Seeks Light, I think by Yui Minamiya is what the singer's name is. Uh, so the week before this, the la yesterday's stream, uh, that had Tella summon Space Rock and fucking die, um, I've been <laughs> listening to a song called Adam Han Chu Dead Ends. <laughs> wow. So that's pretty fitting. Um, but anyway, the story. So we've already, uh, mentioned that I have a homebrew DS, which comes with, uh, fancy little cheat things, which I said, you know what, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna make my life easier. Um, because I don't have hours upon hours to sit and grind, and I really wanted Rosa to not die in two seconds to the slightest breeze that blew through any dungeon. Um, which I'm still not sure if I've succeeded, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, the handy dandy XP multiplier cheats are really nice. But I said, I, I want to make this a little faster so I can get it done in an hour for certain, because that's how long I had on my lunch break today. Um, the first battle, you know, it was pretty good. It was like the basic battle. And honestly, I should it, I should have thought about this when I got it. It's like three little armadillo dudes. I don't know if it's going to start anything when we walk in, so I'm just going to use this just to be safe. Um, the second, uh, we're using the old layout because i feel like it's better resolution for this game specifically i'll try and work yeah. something better but i feel like it just works better i'll fill it up with stuff later but um so i got that encounter with just like three little armadillo looking dudes they're basically the weakest monsters in the underworld uh then i got another encounter and it had like an adamantoid type enemy and i'm like okay you know these guys have some xp they give a lot of xp I underestimated how much it would be at times 8. Because I gained 540,000 XP from that battle. Uh, and everyone levels up by like 13. <laughs> so hey, uh, everyone's level like 50 now? Indeed. Suffice it to say, HP-wise, I don't think we have any issues. But to be to be fair, I had meant to get to like probably 40, 43 anyway. So in terms of number of levels, I'm not actually that far off from where I wanted to be. We'll just be going through this next segment. This next boss segment and the segment after this probably a bit overleveled. But end game is level 70 to 80. I'll be grinding the 99 because I want to destroy the final boss and it's fun. Um, oh. Also, why not? Yes. Can you go in these places? Larry Hall, could I to say you survived that fall? Uh, yeah, we can't get past here, I don't think. I think the other way is the inn. It's the dwarves. Yeah. The potatoes that aren't potatoes. Yeah, so those have access to the inn and like the item shop, but they don't let us do anything else. Uh, let's see what have the item shop. We can buy cottages now, it looks like. Um, I'm gonna buy like six. <laughs> I don't think curse as a status comes up very often. Um, 
Also, you can fill out the layout uh, with our final party whenever we do get that. I, I had an idea of what I'm going to do with that. I just, I need to do some image searching, and, and on such short notice, when I had the idea like an hour ago, uh, <laughs> it's a bit hard to do. Yeah. So something I just now, like, remembered. It's like, okay, so this is something that this game does, and it is also why I was able to buy a bunch of stuff in bulk and rewards you for buying in bulk. So we have a cottage. Why You buy it for 500 you buy two yeah. for a thousand. You buy three for fifteen hundred. What's this? Four for nineteen hundred. That's a hundred guild discount. And you know, just kept, keeps going down. Obviously, like, I can, yeah. But I can buy like way more than I would actually be able to. So it rewards you for buying in bulk. Um, I had forgotten this fact. Because I wasn't actually paying attention to when I bought stuff. Yeah. So I might have gotten that discount. I might have not. I don't know. Um, this is what it's important later is um, in a vanilla game no cheats uh, when you buy sirens they are 3,000 a piece mm. so you want to get something that has that gives you somewhat close to that amount of gill per encounter um, so a lot of encounters don't and that's where like grinding for the silver apples is really difficult because they give you, like, what, like, a couple hundred? I don't even remember what the Lamias give you. But honestly, in terms of battle supplies, we are okay. If we die and I have to buy that stuff again, or if I forget, uh, the next segment does not introduce curse, so we are okay. I'll place this guy. You already got... Shit, hold on. Holding. I forgot to. Hold on, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hide this for a bit so you just I don't get in trouble from the overlords of Nintendo because I forgot to unequip Sid because <laughs> this is when he just walks up. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I can say all I want that I have a homebrewed DS, but I don't want to get in trouble from the Nintendo overlords for some reason. Who the fuck knows what they do? Yeah. I don't think I will, but... It's like the mouse. Yeah, it's like the weird gaming company version of the mouse. Every time I've done that, you take me back to, like, the home menu, and, like, I'll take this, this win that you wanted to give it this to me um anyway here we go it's back so i'll have to buy that stuff again but I, I so I'll do this like little minor spoiler. It's like, um, actually, yeah, I have to check my 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 mental databanks. Uh, after Sid leaves here, we do not get him back again. So, if I can hit the right buttons, I can get his equipment, and it's sellable, and I don't feel bad. That is Thanks amazing. for sticking around for like two dungeons, Sid. <laughs> oh, that's right. The arrows are weird. Um, so remember last time I said that like the optimized thing for Yon would always give him lightning claws if you had them. It would never. Yes. They never replace them with anything else. However, the arrows are really weird. Uh, I can, so I can just press optimize, and if they have the same numbers on them, it'll just go down the list. <laughs> I think... I want to get you ice. I don't know how much it actually matters for anything. Um, I'm honestly, I'm not going to waste my time buying anything, because I don't think we'll need it. I'm glad I did actually end up going back, because I 
didn't realize I'd forgotten to equip the other stuff. Yeah. I've lost my dolls. Have you seen them? I don't know. Did we see any dolls when we walked through? Yeah, like they were invisible. Well, yeah, it's like you can see it right there, can't you? Yeah, it's right there. Right there. Right there. If I if I put in the cheat code, you could see it, but uh, that's that would take a lot of effort. So it's a very long button combination. Aha! So you did survive that crash. My pardons, Your Majesty, but might we ask your name? I'm Jot, King of the Dwarves and Ruler of the <laughs> Underworld. <laughs> I don't remember where that name shows up, but it's a thing. Uh, it is the Shadowbringers Healer Roll Quest. Is it? Yep. Her name was Jot. That's right. Yeah. I should. So I can't. I can't remember the the other other version of her. Um, uh, Lamet was Lamet. Yeah. Okay. That's that's what I was getting confused. I was like, Gia, was it Gia? I was <laughs> I was like, wait a second. That's right. It's the version of her that appears in. I'm not going to spoil anything in Heaven's Word. In not Heaven's Word. Here are. Uh, Sorry, blood. No. No, I'm, I'm blank. Words are hard. Words are hard. The Bahamut quests and stuff like that. Um, um, like, if you watch the promo videos for... Uh, fuck, I'm blinging on names. I think it's called, like, Flames of Truth or something. It's basically saying, like, here's what happened when Bahamut attacked and did a big bad and hurt a bunch of people. Uh, she, in 1.0, was, like, part of the canon group of Warriors of Light. She's the healer. So if you go back and watch that, you see the little Lollapel healing the um, Derplander man. That's her. I was about to cycle through like all of the expansions, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, let me just spoil Endwalker. That has literally nothing to do with this tiny potato. <laughs> I'm also sitting in my my uh, my hashtag gamer chair, so hopefully I'll be a little bit more comfortable today. Ew. And the Dark Crystals, Your Majesty? They're truly down here? So that is indeed the reason for your coming. But you do not seem to be friends of the others. At least not wise not judging from their welcome. Either that or they're fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm shifting to my Natsuku voice, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and your mom! <laughs> 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 if i haven't said it already watch the dub of blog horizon it's a treat <laughs> come here you red baron bastards i got something for you and your moms <laughs> <laughs> Not, he's not exaggerating either. That's basically what he says. Just change some proper nouns. I must apologize. Anyway. We came near shooting you out of the sky ourselves. No, no, that's his voice now. <laughs> All the crystals safe. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Would that I could say yes, dude, but two of the four have been captured. We are too late, then. This castle's crystal, however, remains secure. Our tank battalion was able to repel the enemy forces. Those tanks we saw battling the airships were yours, then? Airships, you call them. The surface world must be home to many wonders. Like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> What's your damage, bro? <laughs> Our tanks have long been unmatched on the battlefield, but even they are hard-pressed to defend against assault from the air. I do not suppose you'd be willing to lend that airship of yours to our defense? She was damaged when we were forced down. 
She'll need repairs before she'll be able to fly again. Ahoy there, fellow dwarf! <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy to provide you with any materials you might need. Then I should be able to patch her up and get her engines humming again. But she wasn't built to take the, the heat of that magma. I'll need to fly her back up to the surface and see if I can't rig together some myth or plating. Best get to work. Sid. No need t for teary-eyed goodbyes. I'm only going up to make a few upgrades. You kids just wait here. I'll be back before you even start to miss me. Sid, be careful. <laughs> oh, don't you be falling in love with me now, too, Rosa. Sid and left I was the party. never seen again. Sid left the party in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, where is this crystal castle's crystal kept? Almost said crystal's castle. <laughs> crystal's kiss. Where it is most secure, in the hidden chamber behind my throne. As long as there's light left in my eyes, our crystal is safe. What is it, Yon? Someone is eavesdropping. What? There's no one here but us. I felt a presence behind that wall. Open the door! Yes, Lali. Lali? Lahi? Yeah, Lahi. Do you know Lahi? <laughs> <laughs> there we go, we tied it in. <laughs> oh, suckers. The door's been barred shut. Hey, are you ready for everyone's favorite song? Yes. Yep, ho ho! Can't believe it's a Jack Frost. No, that's he ho. Damn it. What are those? Dolls? I remember this. Hey, so, uh, remember when I said there was this fight and then the wall of a fight that comes after that? Yeah. So, uh, think about this. Uh, every time you fail that second fight, you have to do this again. Nice. It's great. This whole sequence is unskippable. As it would. We are Calcabrina. Adorable dolls. Terrible dolls. You are mindless cretins. Charging into unknown halls. We'll cut your strings. Lord Gulbez will be pleased. Yep ho ho! So I'm gonna see if I can't skip this fight. Or the, the actual boss fight, at least. Wow, okay. I may not even need to think that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers, man. Numbies. So. In a normal world, uh, Rose is not gonna fucking die, thank god. Okay, well. I screwed up. So, uh, if you can kill a bunch of them, or at least all of them, there are ways to make it so it never turns to Kalkarina. Mm. So, and it's like, it's weird. Because the there's a, a few bosses with like different forms and stuff that you can like avoid. Yeah. However, each one is also in the best theory. So if you play the PC yeah. version with the achievements, 
you do have to find these versions. Yeah. <coughs> But it's dead. Deed. I also talked to someone for this next fight um, that this is one of those fights that I don't remember how I figured this out. And there's a if you have knowledge of Final Fantasy beforehand, you kind of have an idea of what all this stuff does. But if you don't, I don't know how you're supposed to know this. Because it's a very specific strat for the next boss. Mm -hmm. They beat us! We're through! But now he knows where the crystal is! He'll be here soon to take revenge! Lord Gulbez! Oh no, you know what? These guys all have the voice of the LGMs from Toy Story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Golbez. <laughs> the Golbez. The Crystal. There we go. I, I, any any hint of menace or horror those dolls had, gone. <laughs> Absolutely gone. Perfect. <laughs> I thought about it at the very end. I was like, shit, that'd have been great for the voices. Yeah. Our paths cross once again. How did you heal into existence? <laughs> that was the heat sound. Mm. Golpez. I believe we have a score to settle. It is terribly unfortunate that you lack the boon of Meteor this time around. But first, allow me to tell you my purpose in gathering the crystals. Consider it a prize for your small victory before. And now, I'll go into my villainous monologue that I shouldn't do if I listened to the evil overlord list. It's making my hand really moist because I don't have a can to speak into. <laughs> why Why don't you have a can? You, you have cold boy corpses. <laughs> Just take a cold boy corpse and like... Cut it open. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, unless Remember you want you me. Them cold boy corpses. <laughs> okay, cold boy shell. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a shell of what it once was an empty husk. <laughs> yeah, like you. Take away all their delicious liquids inside. What do you what do you want? Their delicious innards. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they have a hard outer outer shell? To protect the liquid innards. Hold on, I have this one right here in my telegram. <laughs> there are eight crystals in total. Oh god, that is not gonna help because Gaius! <laughs> Where did you get here? I cut this place briefly. Goodbye. <laughs> ah, yes, how very glib. <laughs> <laughs> I need a better can. How very glib. I need. I would need to do something extra to the can to have the proper sound effect because it only has the tiny hole in that. Screws up. I mean, I I got mine. I got my my delicious tin. I need to get like a bean can. And like, yeah. I need to do that. Anyway. There are eight crystals in total, those of light and darkness combined. Together, they form the key to reactivating the Tower of Babel, and thereby the gate to the moon. The moon is said to conceal power that transcends the limits of human comprehension. This crystal is the seventh. Only a single one remains to be taken, and the way will be opened. Much of this, of course, was only possible because of you. It would not do to let such aid go unrewarded. Take this, my final gift to you. Spirit! Is this the fight where he has the dragon? Maybe.
I'm gonna take that maybe as a yes. Ooh, crit. Yeah. That was a good time for a crit. I can't wait for the, all that damage to have carried over into the final form. And this makes this next part A pity, really. <laughs> yeah, that's a pity. Winding cold. Your eyes should still be free. Open them and gaze upon true terror. Come forth, my creature of shadow. It's him. It's him. Black Bang. Fucking dead. Also fucking dead. Extremely fucking dead. Farewell, Cecil. Well, it looks like cold. <laughs> How is that radiant? And I told it. My shadow dragon, slain by mere mist. It's all right, you can move now. That voice, I'm still casting, by the way, but not really. <laughs> oh. Barrier shift, welcome to the strat. God, radiant your HP is but forgot all about Lahal. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, her. It's her. In a surprisingly modest outfit. Yep. A twist of fate nobody saw coming. <laughs> With the most brutal version of Diamond Dust I think we've seen. It did give me a This cannot be. The big blood star allowed me to cheat death. <laughs> Alright, um, so... Fucking monk hit me with a crit! <laughs> Alright, so... How this fight is supposed to go when you don't overlevel to hell and back by accident... Um... <clears throat> is... Barrier shift... Libra... Summon for the weakness... Rinse and repeat. All the while, he is bombarding you... With, like, either tier 2 or tier 3 magic to the entire party. So there's literally no way to... Like, unless you get really lucky, there's no way to revive anybody else. So it's just Rydia and Cecil for that fight. And summoning is quite slow, as you can see. Yeah. And she has, like, no HP. She's so far behind. Yeah. Don't worry, she'll catch up. 
But that does answer my question. If they come in at set levels. They're not based on your party levels because she would be level 50 if she was. Yeah. We, we did it. We defeated him. So now you see the outfit resemblance? Yes, now I do. Rydia, you saved our lives. But what's happened to you? When we were attacked, Leviathan swallowed me and carried me to the land of the Eidolons. The land of the Eidolons. The Fey March, the place they call home. <clears throat> I lived among them and befriended them. I can't use white magic anymore, but my summoning and black magic have grown stronger. Time flows differently in the Fey March, though. So that's why you've grown so much. I have boobs now. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she, Cecil? This is Rydia of Mist. That child? This is a surprise indeed. But why would you come to save us? It would work for us, your mother. Don't say another word. The Queen of the Eidolons told me this. The wheels of, of a fate greater than us all are turning now. She told me we must stand against it. And we must stand together. Rydia. Thank you. So yeah, I might have made an oops. <laughs> made that fight really easy. However, you can... With my explanation, I hope you can tell how fast that fight goes downhill. If you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Death will not claim dominion over me. So why did they leave the crystal? Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> The crystal! We left it all alone with the body we didn't confirm was dead. Now it's gone. We didn't double tap. <laughs> Forgive us. Gobaz escaped, and with the crystal. There was little any of us could have done to stop that, it seems. Unless you fucks were smart enough to have grabbed the crystal before he got up. You know, I don't know, like a smart person. But now only one crystal remains. We must guard it with our lives and, and junk. It's the final one hidden. In the sealed cave to the southwest. Golba is left in that direction, but have no fear. The entrance is worded and cannot be breached without the proper key. And so I have a favor to ask of you. It is our fault the crystal was taken. If there's anything we can do to be of aid, we will most certainly cooperate. Golba makes for the sealed cave. This is the opportune moment for us to turn the tables. While he's chasing after the final crystal, you can enter the Tower of Babel and reclaim the other seven. The Tower of Babel? You would have us march into the enemy's own fortress? Yes, while our tanks create a diversion. Anchor howl and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> These shoes on the other foot now. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy's forces will be drawn out to fight, and if they don't, I hope they like a counterattack to the back. While they're occupied, you'll have a chance to slip in and retrieve the crystals. Wait until Golbus returns, and that chance is lost. What do you think? About walking billingly into an enemy stronghold? It would be dangerous, to be certain. But to risk nothing is to gain nothing. And King Giot speaks true. We must act now, while Golbez is away, if we are to act at all. Very well. We will do as you ask. Excellent! In the basement of this castle is an entrance to a tunnel that will lead you near the tower. Oh, and I'd almost forgotten, I want you to have this, scrub. 
<laughs> you feel like you need it. Please go as soon as you've made ready. I wish you the best of luck. Don't let the squitchies die. Use that augment I gave you. Or, you know, like, give it to someone else so you can get another one. I don't fucking know. Speaking Cecil, of what have I told you about double tapping? You never leave an enemy unguarded. Ah, uh, this is D8. <laughs> There's literally zero reason to give the bluff augment to literally anybody else. Double tapping is required. You're right, turn up. That's why we... The Cecil didn't remember his training. Kane has an excuse. He was recently mind controlled. He's a little fuzzy. I, I, don't, I don't... I don't know what they do wrong. <clears throat> Forms and all that fucking shit. Cecil, uh, weren't you like... The, the leader of the Red Barons, and none of you did that. I don't know. Enemies don't normally get up after I hit them really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, they're too scared anyway. Do you know what being a Dark Knight is like? Everyone's scared of you. I mean, I know half, because I'm also edgy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not consumed by darkness and all that. Darkness, red person, angry, all that I mean, I think I do have some iteration of me later that is consumed by darkness and all that. I'm sorry, but we're not going to talk just, about that. He's literally just a <laughs> sinner. I was not kidding when I told you that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> also, there is like the meme with like the like. I think you saw it in Nocto Server. It might have been floating around for other people, but it's like all of the scions and how they would react in like an online yes. game. And I'm like, what someone said is like, what would it be like with like fighting games? And I'm like, Thancred would totally be like, hey guys, have you played this, this game called Dissidia? There's a guy who looks like a Stinian in it. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Final Fantasy Gotcha make any weird alts of people? You're going to have to ask someone who played the Final Fantasy Gotcha because I haven't played it. <laughs> Google is your best friend. <laughs> I I don't think they made any weird alts. Like I don't at think most, they were, like because I haven't seen any like because I looked at like character arcs. Obviously, I have the Cecil render, and I usually see that stuff. Typically, what they do is they just kind of like, all right, here's uh, here's Young, but in a different pose, and this one has different moves. That's kind of what I think Opera Omnia did. Um, in terms of, like, Brave XPS or Record Keeper, which I believe are also gotchas, I don't know, um, because I don't play them. I think they follow the same thing. I think they're probably the most tame gotcha. I don't know. I literally don't know anybody who's ever played them. Like, the only thing I know about... The Square Enix gotchas is apparently Ariana Grande has shown up like three times in it. <laughs> <laughs> I only know that by random happenstance. Incredible. Incredible! So the one I will like mention with like Dissidia is I know you watched um I'm gonna go save real quick while I'm talking. Um to Nicole Ariana Grande a weird alt. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Dissidia. Very good game. I like the story. It's a little bit convoluted in its backstory, but I like it a lot. Um, and I st I'm i still holding on to my conspiracy theory that uh, the Strangers of Paradise story is just going to link up with Dissidia. But I don't know. But... In that game, you have obviously the four, or the t like first ten major heroes and villains. One is a little bit, one, and three are a little bit loose because of how they are. Like, yeah, one, two, and three. Um, but in 
after that game, Cecil can transform into a Dark Knight or a Paladin, depending on what he does. I think it's HP on the attack on the ground is uh, transforms into a Dark Knight. If you do it in the air, it transforms into a Paladin. So his weapon is pretty much it's it's definitely a sword and shield as a Paladin in this game, and it's a great sword. And as a Dark Knight. They changed it to a spear. And I don't know how I feel about that. Weird. Although, I will say, uh, they did a very good job with the Soul Eater animation, which is his basic uh, ground HP attack. Because it's... You stab it forward and basically like violently rip it out. <laughs> if it hits. <laughs> And I'm like, that's so metal. It's so simple, yet so good. But it's like, I just, I just feel weird seeing the paladin with the spear. Yeah, that's some, like, D&D &D logic. You think he has Sentinel? Probably. <laughs> So I'm going to loot the castle before I start buying stuff. Um, because as we saw, like we got the, we got the Dwarven Axe already. Uh, but Kane is in it. Kane also obviously has his spear. I'm trying to remember how jump works in that. Because you can't like, you can't really target with that in Dissidia. You can, like, hold it and it'll go a certain distance. I do remember, like, the ultimate spam attack that was gum near, where you just hurl your spear and it'll, like, reach the other end of most of the stages. I put way too much time into Dissidia Duodecim. It's very fun. I do want to play it on stream. Yeah. Eventually. Eventually. I gotta do this weird hidden path bullshit. But I think, like, the weird convolutedness is really only if you delve into, like, the backstory. Because, like, obviously, Chaos is, like, the final enemy of that game. And if you delve into it, it's, like, a weird thing with, like, the Lufanians, um, trying to mess with, like, alternate dimensions and stuff. And mm. making soulless fighting machines <clears throat> that go crazy. And in an effort to make one they could control, they made uh, Chaos and then made Cosmos to help control it. And all went out of hand, and they sealed them away. And it's a very, uh, very convoluted thing. And then, and then this is where I get my, uh, my thing of, I think Gilgamesh is the same character in most iterations that he shows up. At least most, if not all. Because in Duodecim, there's like a side three, you can see Gilgamesh that just is just traveling the worlds. And it's just like, I wonder if this is where he is. And he like recognizes Barth's. So which confirms that he has the ability to travel between worlds. Uh, I feel like I went down this way already. No, I have not. Let me see Edward here. <laughs> Edward, how are you? I fell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay. Fat chocobo! 
Blasphemer! He is known here as the God's Bird! A great and noble servant of the heavens descends upon this dais when the proper offering is made. <laughs> I have a bunch of equipment. It's him. It's him, the God's bird. <laughs> Alright, you ready for some mini games? I'm gonna see what we have. Laharo. <laughs> oh my god! Hell yeah. <laughs> This. Oh boy, okay. Rub the screen! Rub the screen to build up power and launch Kane as high into the air as possible. Once airborne, touch incoming monsters to slay them before they knock you out of the air. Sounds. He's literally like punching them. Yep. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, that stamina increased, though. Yeah. Touch on, on, on rushing goblins to attack them. Touch sword icons to slay all enemies on the screen. If you're in danger of being overwhelmed. Touch the Harl to escape from battle. Fucking conveyor belt. Ching 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 Hey, we got a bomb. <laughs> It's like a slashing Musa, uh, not Musa, Toho game. Nope. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jesus, that strength increased though. Yep. No, I think we're good. What's the next one? What's the last one? Hold the stylus to the screen for the number of seconds in case the closer you are to the actual time, the more points you will earn. The process will be repeated three times. <clears throat> okay, that tells me how fast that is. It's weird though, because I don't know when it starts. 
That did not feel like two seconds. Yeah. Wow, okay. But let go of it. Just, white dead. White's fucking dead. <laughs> yep, can't believe he's fucking dead. Oh, that's how much time is left. Okay, that makes more sense. Ah! Blow over. We did it. We got a score. We got a score. Oh, fuck you. I have two spirit now. Wow. That smug little asshole. So I'm assuming we can only play games of characters that are in the party. Uh, I think it's the characters that are in the final party. Uh, I cause I don't think Yang has anything. Oh yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> Physical summon. For more MP than he's fucking worth. <laughs> Probably. He does have really good physical stat stats, though. Like. Yeah. Wrong menu, but. It's like half of what Cecil has. And Cecil's also fucking yeah. level 50. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the menus to all the other things. I'm trying to think if there's any other rooms that we need to go to, and I don't think so. Um, actually, I'm not gonna buy... Let's see what we got. What do you got here? So if I'm not, not misremembering, we will be getting a uh, set of ice armor in this next thing, so... So we should be okay with that. So I don't really need to buy any armor, and I think we get another Dwarven Axe? Yeah, but all this whole sequence that we've, like, been bullshitting through as well, it's- we've been going for about an hour already. Yeah. So now you say why I didn't really want to do that last night. Yeah. Especially not at the level we were at. <laughs> yeah. I think over here is, like, healing- nope. Down there. We 
this real quick. Nice. Saves me some money. So there's also <clears throat> a little bit of like weird chicanery that I can do. Is because remember how I said that we I guaranteed the uh, the rainbow pudding with the drop last time. Yes. I can do that with augment items. They are apparently on this list, which mm. means <clears throat> I would obviously make this probably on another save file if I wanted to. I don't know. Uh, but. I can do that with augments, which means I can do that with limit break and get two of those. So I could. Actually, no, it wouldn't be good for that. It's I know I can probably get the dark matter item too that I would need for the super boss, um, because the final super boss uh, requires you to normally steal the item from the final boss and then go through another playthrough in order to yeah. get back to the area where it spawns again, which is at the end. Um, however, it's still there, and I think it still allows you to interact with it. So if you somehow have the item, you can still do it. So I don't think it checks to see what playthrough you're on. Yeah. So I might give that boss a good old fashion try uh, and see how I do. A very specific strat, but I have not done that in a very long while. I'm gonna go get a drink. I should be back. You're not gonna miss much. Like this. Oh hey, it's the encounter that I got. Fucking... Oh my god, it's dead already. Stop. We are absolutely going to trounce the enemies that I was worried about in this next dungeon, thank god. We will need to level up Rydia, but that'll come with time. I at least won't be fearing for my life whenever I get a Mimic encounter, or a Trap encounter. These are the weird armadillo things, by the way. <clears throat> nice! That didn't kill it. I should just attack with Yong. Cutscene of the attack. Another cutscene of the attack. A third cutscene of the attack, but from a different angle. And a third angle. Honestly, our stats are good enough that we're probably going to be okay. I don't foresee any issues. I miss this music. Jesus Christ! Oh boy. Bye, Rydia. I 
I just want to call the people who designed, who put this encounter here, sadists. Because that is exactly what this encounter is. Hello, welcome back. I come back and everyone's dying. Yeah, because there's three of these fuckers. I still can't kill these super fast, but I yeah. I was. Hello, welcome to actual uh, Black Mage now. A summoner. So yeah, basically now we have a proper replacement for Tella. We have a proper White Mage and a Black Mage. Someone who can deal damage with magic and actually consistently cast it without yeah. having to use an ether every two seconds. But here's the actual Tower of Babel music. Ban, ban, ban. And I hope you remember what the boss is. Yes. Good, good, good. So, uh, I think, I think I skipped over. I was waiting for you to get back. Iridia has a whip. It, I did notice that. Um, I think there are, like, I think she can still wield rods. And I might have her wield some of them sometimes. Uh, but what the whip does is, upon connecting with a physical attack, there is a chance to paralyze with it. It's very good. So thankfully, our our black mage has a reason to physical attack occasionally. Yeah. I've just started learning to like try and do stuff while it's running. So if it takes forever to run, it's still doing stuff. Yeah. I think that's what I've learned. Also, I will point out, I believe this is all the magic Cecil ever learns. Well. It's a pretty decent set, to be honest. Yeah. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. The scrub in his nine spells. Hey, that's a pretty decent spell list, I'm gonna be honest. I wish I had that spell list. <laughs> scrub of nine spells. Listen here, I bet you don't have that spell list. You're right, I don't. I have better. Wow. I can talk to my god and be told that the enemy's weakness is their left big pink uh, left toe and I'm going to fire 3000 lightning bolts at it. Well, I can just hire somebody else to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I also have Guiding Bolt, so... Cecil doesn't need Guiding Bolt, he just hits really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Rydia, girl. You've gotta get some HP in you. Don't worry, we'll get you there. But, I want to talk something I saw while scrolling through the cheat menu. Was, there was a thing... That was like. Uh, but it was like guarantee max stat ups on level up or something. And it makes me wonder if like the HP that we get is like variable. Mm. Like from one playthrough to the next, if I don't do any like. If I do no augments, let's say. 
Will I have yeah. the same HP every time? Or like, you know what? Actually, rather from like, you know, at level 51, will Cecil always have 3,029 HP? Or could he have like, by now, could he have like 3,500? Yeah. It was just something I saw. I was like, huh. I know I've told you off screen, there's actually a, co a code to like play as Golbez, and I think that's hilarious. And just Indeed. have him in the party. another cat claws here or like a cat claws guaranteed in my chest why why are you so mean it lost giving me that encounter it's like the third time yeah At least she can survive one Scorch. Yeah. She used to not be able to do that. Yeah. Very true. I need to reorganize Razor's spells too and have the cures at the top. Kiraga is not a spell I will use often at this level. It's really just not something I need. If I'm gonna heal, I wanna use Kira instead, but. This would be unthinkable, and an unthinkable encounter, uh, at le what level you're supposed to be. Yeah. You'd be like level... Like 40, 45. Yeah, like 45. Like, I could buy flame armor for Kane, but... Yeah. Kira, but never, never know. Yep. So another thing is like each of these rooms also have like a specific sirenable thing. Yeah. Mentioned that yesterday. Yeah, fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Huh? Obliterated. Okay, did you see it? Yes. I love if you if you end the battle with Kane in the air, he goes on <laughs> <laughs> the result screen. It's such a nice touch. 
So we're going to give Kane the Ice Brand because he needs it. Look at that. That little X hilt. Exilt. And I think we'll Dragoon give him. Dragoon wielding sword, sword and shield in my Final Fantasy? It's more likely than you think. Dragoon Sword and Board? All the better to jump and stab with. Pose. Finally had normal encounter. You're only allowed the rare ones. It certainly feels like it. Also, get fucking destroyed. Guy got crit by an axe and obliterated. <laughs> Vorpal axed him. Natural 20. Did not make the saving throw. Head gone. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Kane gets the Ice Lance. <laughs> I feel like one of those should be on the back end. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's too dead to care now. <laughs> <laughs> Put it out of its misery. Oh my god. So it's the... It's the... It's the meme of the, the woman in the car. Why can't you just be normal? It's the picture of the camera. <laughs> the mother, I am normal. <laughs> No, 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 not you piece of shit. So guess what? It's only ass. one of them. Dead. Didn't even cast Dead. anything. <laughs> we got a bomb fragment off of it. Did we ever encounter any of the actual bomb type enemies? Like I know there was the one boss encounter, but I don't think we encountered any any others. I don't think so. Double cat claws. Yeah. Speed up. Oh god. Let me just do this. Jesus Christ, I have hit for like double that thing's HP. Gone. Obliterated. <laughs> they were not ready. No, they weren't. It's gonna take me a bit to get used to that new placement of stuff. <laughs> I like that. Alright, that's what I figured. I was wanting to make sure this was the treasure room before before I kept going, and I forgot to equip the thing again. Oh, okay, that could be annoying. A dual cast. I should have done it the opposite order, but whatever. 
No, I did slow, so that's still fine. Because wait, I think what makes dual cast really overpowered is like it's obviously able to cast two spells at the same time, but it just has a shorter cast time. It it will be longer to pace, I think, dependent on like what you cast. But I can cast dual. I can cast dual cast. Uh, like. Let's say the spell arise later in the game, which will be really useful. Um, I can cast that with dual cast four times in two turns. Mm -hmm. And I can do that... I can dual cast twice faster than I could cast arise twice on its own, I think. So I could get four dual casts off in less time than it would take to get two dual casts anyway. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Fuck! Meant to hit something else. <laughs> I keep thinking it's gonna go to a different menu, and then it doesn't go to that menu, it goes to a different one. Got a power bow or killer bow for Rosa. If I can move it to equip it, not just exit out of the menu immediately. So now you don't want to optimize for ice arrows. Fucking weird <laughs> game. Are you still wanting to keep them with the sword and board? Let's let this speak for itself. Okay. Yeah, ni a nice chunk less, but, um... I think until we reach the boss, I'm gonna keep him with the Ice Brand, because he'll deal more damage with the weakness. Because mm -hmm. there are a lot of fire enemies, and then, like, the ones that aren't are gonna die in one hit anyway. Ah! Oh. This is really annoying because it absorbs all elements. So the egg's weird. You can kill it. You need to kill it to get a bestie berry page. It gives you one experience. It gives you like one experience and no gill or something. Mm. And it can hatch into a bunch of creatures. One of which is a green dragon. Uh, right. Has a chance of hatching into that. So it's very scary. Wow, thanks down. I've used one of those. I don't remember what the path forward was on this map. Okay, so yeah, this is the the continuation. I'm still gonna kill those anyway. It's grabbing a whole bunch of frames all of a sudden. Weird. Manager. Yep. As one would do. We'll do this. That right. And right there is really good. And make it smoother. There we go. So I can just see what happens as it goes. 
Because I just dropped a ton of frames in like the span of like five seconds. So. I think a large part of this is just going to be getting a new computer will probably eliminate these problems. But given all of the stuff that I want to do will be either emu like a PS1 emulation or on the fucking DS, I don't think it's going to be an issue for a, a bit. Mm. I hope you don't absorb ice. Good, you're weak to it. That makes it even better. You're fucking dead already. Bloated. Do I fade for me? It's a long way for a high potion. Very long way indeed. Deep. I think this is a save room right here that we're out. A thing! Ah, she hung on! Let's go! <laughs> she did it. Didn't do nearly as much damage as I wanted her to do. So why are they weak to ice when they're blue? That's that's like their, their thing. It's like the color they are usually tells you what they're weak to. Uh... That's their gimmick. Because they're super resistant to physical attacks. So you kind of, and they'll absorb, I think, basically any other magic. Hmm. Understood. Not all of them follow this rule. Most of them, as a general rule, do. And then the ones that don't typically don't have that, like, we're super resistant to physical and weak to only one type of magic. Yeah. Um, but as a result, they also have way more HP than, you know, a similar one that follows that rule. Mm -hmm. I think it's a weird design choice given how everything else works in this game. It's like, I am fire, therefore I am red. I am weak to mm -hmm. ice because I am fire. Um, yeah. I don't have Blizzard yet. She'll get it eventually. Try and spread some damage out here. That way we can kill two at once. I love with the way the cat claws look, it looks like Yonks wearing gauntlets. Yeah. Did I go over the reason why I wanted to switch back to the layout? The old layout? Yes. Do you want a higher resolution? Yeah, and like, I discovered this little functionality within OBS where it's like, I knew before that you could open, like, a full screen version of what was on the screen, but that didn't really help me. But you can open a windowed version of the same thing and, like, resize it. So I did that. Uh, and made it, like, the size of, like, the Twitch player. Or, like, what I roughly assumed the Twitch player would be on, like, my screen mm -hmm. and kind of like made the judgment call based on that was like hey this you know this is pretty visible 
Snowflake more so than I thought. So I'm just going to use that one. Jeez, you have a lot of HP. Not anymore, you know. Ice armor. Ice air more. No, you need ice for right now. No ice, only fire. I almost let that pixel get away from me down there in the corner. That room is specifically for sirens. Like, there's nothing in it, but something special appears in it. I don't remember what. I don't really care. We don't have any. You. Hey, look, it's Frieza. Dead zone, no likely. Dead. I can't believe he kills Frieza with a sword. I mean, that's the canon way to do it. And you. Oh no, an enemy ambush! Who could have foreseen that it was possibly one of these things? Certainly not I. Certainly not. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> nice. I was not expecting that to be green. I haven't encountered the things I thought we would encounter in here. Those are probably on the later floors. No, wait, no, those were in the Tower of Zot, so the fire variants are the ones that are later. Okay. I'm just done. I think that it was hitting both of them, but I don't know. Well, we'll find out here. Yes. Didn't do a lot. May or may not be because she's ten levels behind. Probably. Grand Relic is at 40, so it's like 15 less than what Cecil's strength is right now. I think there's also some weird part of the damage calculation where it also like takes into account your level. Mm -hmm. It's locked. <gasps> oh no. Anyway. <laughs> I love she's still in the front row because where she died. <laughs> 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 
Is there something big at the end of this very long seeming dungeon? Uh, supposedly all six crystal or all seven crystals that we need to grab. Also, what's up, Mr. Safeway? Hello. Seemingly long, very long dungeon. Oh, I should definitely go to the right there first. I was like, this is a lot longer path than I thought it was. Do you think Edge Runners is gonna fade into uh, uh, obscurity after the anime season starts? Uh, I think this next few weeks. Uh... Did they release all of it? I believe so. So I've heard some people say they watched all the episodes, like all 12 episodes or whatever. I mean, obviously, you know, fade into obscurity is a, an, an exaggeration, but... Fade from the public eye. Fade from the popular public eye, that is. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously people are still gonna go crazy uh, over Rebecca. Uh, but I wonder how long that's going to stick with, <clears throat> you know, uh, Bleach starting up um, I, in October. I think it'll have, I, I still, honestly, I still think it's in its niche right now. Yeah. I just think it, it's going to fade with Bleach coming out. Um, we'll see, probably see people, like, I think, honestly... It's the attempt to bring Cyberpunk back into the public eye now that they've put more patches out. Yeah. I think that's what the attempt was. But, um... Well, it worked. It definitely did work, because a lot of people are playing hook, it now. Hook, line, and sinker. Um, but... I'll read this before I say something else. Uh, not much gave Dragon Quest 11 another chance a few weeks back with a definitive edition on Switch. Fell into a pretty deep hole playing that one. The music changed entirely for me. I... I have opinions on uh, orchestral versus synthesized music that are different from the majority of people uh, that I've talked to, and it's mainly it mainly is just down to like I don't really care whether it's synthesized or orchestral because I think there's a place for both. What as long as it sounds good. As long as it sounds good. However, I think what the problem is is when you get something like like we, we play dragon quest 8 that's a really good one to go to because yeah. we have the ps2 version it has the orchestral music and then i believe the japanese version has the orchestral music on the 3ds but when they made it in america they made it synthesized that's what makes me annoyed is that there are versions that are different from the music it's like just make them all the same and it's because Sugiyama's an asshole. That's basically the entirety of the reason. There's more in-depth reasoning behind it, but he's just an asshole. Or was, rather. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> something that I saw, and I don't know the validity of it, but it makes me wonder about studio trigger just a little bit um because apparently they did not want to make um edge runners if they couldn't put a lolly character in and i don't know how true that is i think that is 100 percent true but the thing is that's weird because rebecca doesn't technically fit under that because she's technically just petite. I having not seen the character. 
and I've only, I will say this, I don't know how much I believe that given where I saw this information and the fact that it was one line on Discord, <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, was the music was badly synthesized rather than it was bad because it wasn't real. Yeah. Okay, good, yeah. I was like, I was like, please don't be one of the people like, oh, it's not real music. I'm like, synthesized, absolutely very good. And my, my main thing is like, I'll, I'll flash back to Dragon Quest IX. My first Dragon Quest game. It's on the DS. So what we're playing on right now. It has slightly worse graphics than what we are playing with right now. And I'll leave it on this low poly Cecil for a little bit. For that reason. <laughs> um, so obviously, I'm pretty sure what we are listening to right now is synthesized music. I do not think this is orchestral. I do not think this sound came out of a real instrument. I don't know this for certain. I could be wrong. But if we go to Dragon Quest IX, uh, I know for a fact those those uh, songs were synthesized. I do not think that game would have been as good with orchestral music. Because you would have had like this low-poly sounds and it's just like let's let's take the first one of the first themes you ever hear in this game the observatory theme there the orchestral version is very good i very much enjoy that song however i can't use warp Shit. um however I think the synthesized version of that song fits the area of the observatory so much better. Because it's more calming and soothing. And it it's hard to explain, but not having any of the sounds of a real instrument would make, I feel makes the makes it way more like smooth. It's very hard to explain what I mean by that. Knock the camera. It's also a really strong egg. It is a very strong egg. Like, um... You know what I could do? I could play it for us. And kind of give us a taste of what I mean. I think I'll, I think I'll make that call. If I get copywritten, I'll just... If you don't hear anything in the next bit, it's because I muted it. Which means you should also probably just look the songs up on your own anyway, and you should do it anyway. Um, I'm typing. 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 Tippity typing. Observatory. Yeah. <laughs> I love the first one, Dragon Quest IX, actual music. <laughs> well. So I'm going to mute this on stream. Then I'm going to share this with you. So I'm, you're going to lose that for a second. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Real music. Go into my sound settings to make sure I can see if I can't do something. Uh, okay, I did change the volume to that, so I'll just. Uh, da, 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 da. I gotta add in the browser source real quick as well. Or audio. I can do browser, I think. And that'll work for that. Turn it down way loud, because it's gonna be way loud. But here we go. Like, this is the synthesized version. OK, 
Okay, so like you see what I mean by that, where it sounds like it sounds smooth. There's no sounds of real instruments, right? Yeah. So if I go to, I believe this is it. This is the orchestral one. This will probably get me copyright hit, but. So like, you see how those sound different, right? Yes. Like, I do not think the oboe uh, for that little bit would have felt the same while playing through Dragon Quest IX. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's a judgment thing. If you think differently, that's fine. Um, but that is my opinion, and it's just like, I think synthesized music has its place. It, it has this specific feel to it, and if you want to go, you know, certain feels go with certain styles and circuit, like blah, 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 and just fits better. No, as you know... Uh, because anyone who disagrees with with Dragon, uh, you now have to one v one him on Final Destination. No items. Well, I'll tell. I'm gonna give you a, a slight spoiler on how that's gonna go. Uh, you're gonna beat me every time. <laughs> no, not in, not actually in Smash. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> The, the the joke is you you have to do a one v one duel, like Highlander style. You don't know Highlander? No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I know I know of its existence, much like I know of the existence of Spaceballs that I still haven't found fucking time to watch. Fuck. You you never watched Spaceballs either. What? I've watched clips. Oh. I still watched... never watched that movie in its entirety? No! Because I'm an uncultured <laughs> swine. Trust me. I, you know... I mean, you say that uh, with that movie in the context. Look, I know that exactly movie is, the movie, movie is not cultured. But it affects culture. Yes, it, it does affect culture. The movie is funny. However, uh, I, I also have to say, man, that movie is uh, <laughs> definitely something. The only two things I remember from that is the gif I saw recently of, like, the film Spaceballs existing in the universe of Spaceballs because it was on, like, the projector screen at, like, the same time as he was looking at it. Yeah. Um, and there, there was, like, the... He's like, comb the desert, you gotta find the whatever, and they're at, like, taking like, this giant comb onto the desert. Yep. <laughs> it's the only two things I remember. I know it is a giant Star Wars parody. I find parody things, like, interesting, but not like... I find... more... I just saw the comments as well. Um... I, because like let's take DBZA. It's like a full parody of Dragon Ball Z, right? Yeah. However, it's like I like DBZA. I think it's very good. Uh, and I really want to watch more of that creator commentary because it's hilarious. Um, yes. But that's not really like the fun, the things that I enjoy parody lines. I don't enjoy like in terms of parody music, like Weird Al. It's, it's got its place. I like some of them, not. I really enjoy going into like an anime or a game that clearly has this product that is labeled as a real thing, however it can't be said as that thing because they don't want to pay royalties, so they change the name. Uh, so I think Dugarada had a few. I think like Google was like Dougal, like with a D instead of a G, and then Yahoo was Yoohoo. Um, and I think my favorite one was Tokyo Zanadu had, like, a Dr. Pepper can, but it was Dr. Paper instead. <laughs> mm. 
you want to voice the creepy scientist man? Sure. How am I supposed to pronounce that name? Rubiconte. Rubiconte. Okay. It's either Rubicons or Rubiconte. I've always done Rubiconte. Do be careful, Rubiconte, my lord. There's no need for concern. Eblin's castle has already fallen, and its ninja forces with it. I trust matters here to you until my return. Ninjas? Yimjis. We got this fucking monk? <laughs> Lord Gulbez and Rubicante both gone, and I, only I at home. My Lord of the Tower, I am the Lord of the Tower now. That's a strange one. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> My God, he looks like that. Uh oh. Well, that's Cecil Louse, aren't you? When a toad spittle did you. When in the toad spittle did you squirm your way in? Why are we these dweebs when there was an elite ninja force? Why don't we have that game? We might see you later. Uh. <coughs> why we might be better than the elite ninja force. <laughs> Rubiconte is not here to help you. Are you sure you want to press your luck against us? Press my luck? Gah! The outrage, the belittlement! I've already been on that game show! Do you have any idea whom you're speaking? I'm Dr. Lugai. <laughs> Lugay? Lugi. Lugi? <laughs> Fucking Lugi! <laughs> Lu Lu Luigi. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it's actually may... Lugay, but I I find it Lugi. It's funnier. <laughs> well, call him Lugi. I may not be one of them, but Golbez made me his chief strategist for a reason. I can keep this tower clean of vermin like you. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> oh, you will. My beautiful little boy will have your heads for playthings. You want the extra boss fight out of this? Sure, question mark. Okay. I didn't put block on, I just realized that. Shit. Oh, wheel. This fight just seems strange with this music. It's great. There's two ways this boss fight goes. <laughs> well, you not me, you big oaf. Them over there, got it? Mm. That's like your scrub or something. Show them what a strong boy you are. <laughs> also, how that fight starts in Endwalker, and it's great. <laughs> He literally goes, do the thing, and he punches him. It's like, not me, you asshole. I have to go through Babel again, because I think I only did it the once. Jeez, I almost hit the damage cap there. Exploded.
My poor precious Barnabas. I guess I have no choice. I'll control him myself. Beep. It's just taking the free time to do some re-equipping. Yes. <laughs> like, am I as well here? That sound effect for that is just yeah really weird. It's a bit weird. I don't at this and point, loud. I don't think at this point I could do anything. I could deal with anything else, but just because I'm so used to it. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Fucking dead. All right, then. She had to protect on and everything. Rydia, baby, please. Paper mache. What's this button? Click. Ah! Oh, shit. No! <laughs> 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 Of all well, of the people. It's not like it was that, that much EXP. Gah, now you've done it. Prepare to see true Terra's face. Yeah, there might be a reason I'm more annoyed that she died at the end of that than you think. Hey, look, it's another fight. Yeah. It's me! I'm the first Doctor! Doctor Who? Yes, exactly! Enough of this foolishness. Look upon the face of fear! Hope this works. Reversal gas cast reverse, which makes damage healing and healing damage. Yeah, I figured. There's a very easy way to take advantage of this. If he does it again, we'll have it. Funny number. Hey, watch this. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I did that.
I love this boss fight. It's so fun. Especially when you're over leveled and you can heal the squishies when when in one hit. The one thing I didn't get to try was like I wanted to um, hit everybody with magic. Yeah. Because that basically just takes the place of Kira. There's basically everything swaps places, and I think it's really neat. I don't know. I don't think I've gotten. I think. I think I've. Yeah, I'm past this in the Pixel Remaster playthrough that I'm doing. Um, I don't remember that fight being that interesting. Uh, it had a really flashy and heroic losing brutally final battle against a mid game boss. This actually sounds fun and epic. We start up building a party and then they all die and the real heroes show up and they're just unsympathetic to the point that they're kind of a holes. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be good if it existed, but it's an interesting concept. I think, um... That's been done a few times, where you start playing as, like, one person, and then, like, a little ways in, you just, they fucking die or something, and then you start playing the actual heroes. <laughs> this tower reaches beyond the surface, you know. Rubicante has already moved the crystals to the spire above. All that remains is to annihilate those accursed dwarves with my cannons. <laughs> Lugi's key. Oh no, the dwarves. To the cannons. We'll destroy them. Here. You want something great? It's just a secret what? between you and I right now. Oh, I can't believe he's <laughs> fucking dead. <laughs> I can't believe Cecil's gonna die in this encounter. I can't believe it. Cecil's fucking dead. Kane, you've betrayed us again. Oh no, Riddy is gonna die. Who's gonna be? You never should have trusted me, Cecil. You never should have come here. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Never should have come here. And your mom. <laughs> like, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, Kane. I know. <laughs> why, are you, why are you talking like a surfer, bro? I don't know. <laughs> my mind isn't my own, dude. Dwarves die. It's like an overwhelming amount of like blue green on the left side. Yeah. Step away from the cannons. You. How did you get in here? Slaughter them. Spin. Yeah. We're the members of the Lollipop Guild. Oh no. The Lollipop Guild is bigger than I thought. Oh no, I can't move. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, kick! No! You can't stop us! <clears throat> You're right, we can't. There's no halting the cannons now. 
Oh no! Is there nothing we can do? Actual cutscene. It's too dangerous. No. I will take care of things in here. The rest of you get out. Well, we probably could have used a couple takes on those. It's too late, young. Forgive me. <laughs> Ow. Young, how could you ready a step? <laughs> <laughs> She's made a paper. If you should see my wife again. Tell her to live enough for us both. Don't be a fool. Open the door. Young! Please, Young! Don't throw your life away! Young! It has been an honor fighting with all of you. Open the door, Young! So, like, I'm gonna ruin this sad moment. Uh -huh. it's, very, it's very sad. What did that accomplish? I mean, I wasn't gonna say it. I mean, I was thinking it. I'm just gonna call it out right now. You know. I mean, obviously, you know, like, there was time for, like, Piccolo to obviously uh, grab Gohan from uh, Nappa's mouth laser, but uh, no, he just time decided... that's <laughs> I like noodles, noodly arms. He got it, like, noodly armed. But he hadn't unlocked that ability yet. That unlocks at level 3. He was only level 2. He always knew how to noodle arm, though. Did he? Yeah. Like, legitimately, I don't remember. I mean... All he... of Dragon Ball Z is explainable by time distortion? You're right. Yeah. Because, like, he obviously knew how to, like, grow. So he used it in, like, the World Martial Arts Tournament. Yeah, he did do that. Yeah, look at that. One gill and zero XP for killing them. Nice. But if you run away, you lose like 40 k Yeah. Also, we cannot teleport out of here, so don't worry about asking that. It wasn't. So I think the reward for like the um, the naming way side quests is really helpful for stuff like this. Like if you overlevel or like... Or in a rush for your new game plus playthrough, um, you gain something called the safe tra travel augment. So what it does is, you know, allows safe travel to prevent random encounters while you have it on. Why would you do that? Oh no! Why would you? Why would you do that? You've made him stronger. Oh no! Ah! Oh, he has become angry! He won't like him when he's angry. But that is like the one, like, death in this game that I'm kind of like, not like, just thinking about it now, like, he didn't really do anything to stop the cannons. Which yeah. was the reason that you would want to stay back there. If it, like... Because, like, it was like, okay, well, you can't stop the cannons now. Okay, but they're going to explode, which means the cannons are going to stop anyway, because they don't want to fucking function. Um, yeah. I just, I feel like there's a way that could have been done better. It's like, obviously, if they made it to where, uh, Young was the only one who noticed that they were going to blow up and then kicked everyone out, you know, that would make more sense. 
Oh my god, why can't I fucking run away? Well, Jesus Christ. So I think there was a better way to have written that than that. But I think it's like the only one in this game that I'm like, eh. Yeah. You are even more meddlesome than I had thought. Golpez! Mice are wont to play while the cat is away. But I'm afraid our game of cat and mouse is at an end. The time has come for us to part ways. Farewell! Well, I hope Rita uh, has done her cardio. Kane, you're supposed to land on your feet. That's what Dragoons always land on their feet. <laughs> Woo, doesn't get much closer than that. Dude. Do a lot of the party members die in this one? The been ages since I played it, remember I had two out of death seemingly every other dungeon the point I started waiting. Characters haven't really died so far, they have just been like, okay, this event caused me to leave the party now because of reasons I'm unable to rejoin you, but I give you like Augments and stuff. It's, a, like, it's weird. Yeah, but Tella died. Yeah, but Tella summoned a giant space rock with all his life force. That's pretty metal. And the, twin, and the twins kind of died. They're, they are, uh, they've been pretty stoned for a while. Now Yang's fucking Ooh. dead. But yeah. like Edward and Riddy are still here. Yeah. Ugh, where is Yang? And we didn't double tap Golbez, so you know, he's still around. Yeah. You know what? Kane left for a while, he's not dead. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Yang, he. And look, Sid's still alive, he left. He fucking blew up, didn't he? He sacrificed himself to stop the tower's cannons. Fucking idiot! They'd have blown up anyway! He should have just ran out! <laughs> <laughs> Another good man lost. <laughs> Who's that one? Who's the other pretty lady? <laughs> That's pretty. A survivor of mist. She's like 15, you perv. <laughs> <laughs> is it totally not dead but they aren't coming back stop thinking uh, I don't know what you mean by that but like it's hard to say without spoiling stuff happens but I know what the, the final party is at this, so, <coughs> this game's over this. uh oh we have been followed and I, I, I asked Isaac at the beginning of this playthrough, like, hey, did we want to get the equipment from the people that I know are leaving? And you were, you answered yes. So. Yep. <clears throat> Can you shake them? This should be, <clears throat> this should be the faster ship. They must have made improvements on the Red Wings, too. With who? <laughs> my evil clone. I knew dick. I should have fucking killed him. <laughs> it's my evil clone, <laughs> dick. <laughs> Nero. <laughs> Come on. Sits nobody. Sid X. Good. 
the Shadow Realm, etc., etc. Uh, I don't think they censor it for that reason. Someone's got to keep young company. You get yourselves back to battle. Talk to my boys there. But Sig, you'll die. And so young too. <laughs> <laughs> Seems so good. <laughs> Fuck you, Goldheads, you can't stop this. <laughs> <laughs> he lived as he died, and he died as he lived. Miss exploding. <laughs> Sid. One after another. Rushing to die like fools. I mean young dead. He didn't. This sit is fun. Or was. <laughs> Dang, yeah. I love this Sid. He's so good. Our black toad was still hanging up up there. <laughs> yeah. he, he's having a time. Que. Que, 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 que. So now, uh, we do have the Eidolon person. Um, I'm going to get this cutscene out of the way. Did we want to try the extra thing that was here? Sure. This will be the last thing we do. Oh, it's a As for how prepared we are for it, I have absolutely zero idea. I've always done this over level, because like, I usually come back to this place and I'm like, oh yeah, I need to you get this to get 100%, and I'm like level 70 or 80. Mm -hmm. This is one of the few fights that I don't know how it works because of this. Lord Cecil, the Fleetmaster told us you'd be coming. Told us to make a hook and rig it to the Enterprise for you when you came. Won't take but a few minutes. Every time the tuba starts, I keep thinking, like, Vulcan Skulls theme. <laughs> that ought to do it. Now you'll be able to carry that hovercraft as it goes beneath the ship. Just fly over the hovercraft in the Enterprise and press the A button to hoist her up. To set her down, just press the A button again. Should even be able to reach the Cave of Eblon down by the Tower of Babel now, eh? To set the hovercraft down on some solid ground nearby, then cruise across the shoals. Thank you, but about Sid, not quite a handful, I'm sure you don't have to tell us. The man never rests. If you killed him, he'd probably come right back from the dead and keep on working. Well, we'd best be getting back to work. We've a mountain of it waiting. Best of luck to you. Wow. <laughs> Uh, what are our numbers look like? We still need to heal. Let's go do that. You do okay. that, I'm gonna use the bathroom quick. Go do that. Honestly, we're down a party member for this, so this is going to be a little rough. But I think we'll be okay. And if I die for this... With a not full party, I won't count it against, like, the... Try and beat this game without game over in. Yeah. If well, I you die... say that, but, uh, Rydia's paper, so. Yeah, but it's like, it's also like, just having another thing to hit, take damage, and deal damage means a ton. Yeah. Action economy and all that. 
Yeah, I don't expect to win this, but it's worth a try. We'll come back later if we don't. I don't use the thing we get from this anyway, because of how it works. Do you fight Jan's ghost? I fight a ghost. Remember who's down here? <laughs> Remember who's down here? Do I remember who's down here? Yeah. Well, the king. Can I not do it yet? Do we have to go to the Fame March first? I thought we could do this. Probably. But we won't be able to do that for a little bit then. And we'll have another party member by then. Um. That's a whole ordeal in of itself. I think Rosa has float now, though, so both of the extra caves that we want to go through as side content that have stuff would be easy to do. I thought, but the inn had enough beds. Did the Dragon Quest XI party take turns, or they all just pile in? Uh... I think... I think they all just pile in. At least from how long I've played, so... It's FF7 style, they... Together. Become the amorphous mass of one party member. Yep. Yeah. Well, we gotta go to the Fae March. But we do have a little time, so I wanted to... So I just got the last two party members now, so... No spoilers, by the way. Isaac hasn't played it, and I haven't told him the story yet. Yes. I'm gonna do a thing. Since we got Rydia back, we got all those summons. So I'm not gonna use them very often. No, we gotta use that one. Be ramen. Is this also a sexy grandpa? I'll leave that for you. I don't remember what he looks like. pretty good. Yeah. It looks about the same as Jesus 14. Christ. I hit the damage cap on that poor rat. <laughs> <laughs> that rat was obliterated from the history books. Thank you, Grandpa. I was like, die. Die, potato. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ow. What? Like, point one percent. We saw the mist dragon already. <clears throat> yeah. Every time the screen goes black for that, like, I think something's wrong. <laughs> he looks so derpy! <laughs> hey, we got a free potion. Wah wah! Alright, um... Uh... Yeah, we have one more to see. It's been a while. I also like how, like, the encounter rate has suddenly, like, decreased significantly. It's been a while. We have our friend. Indeed. <laughs> Remember the last time we saw this, we created a new mountain range. <laughs> Indeed. I think they're resistant to Earth, so they half the damage, but that's still 4,000. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I'm going to heal up, and I will take this to where we're going to start out for next time. Mm -hmm. Um...
we have a little bit of exploration we could do but i honestly want a guide for that little bit of exploration uh because yep. it's a pain in the ass pain in the ass ninja shit uh and i want to get everything there's random there's not random encounters but there's like uh trap encounters mm -hmm. in there and i just want to know when they are we are equipped to deal with them the main reason uh -oh. is I'm hungry. Yeah. Being hungry is a good reason to stop. Yeah, <clears throat> there's also a cave that we couldn't get to before without this yeah. little functionality that we have now. Um, however, we still can't do anything yet with there. So I will um, leave it for now. Just in case anyone wants to be like, what you forgot? This, I'm like, we can't get anything there. I like how our ship has choose now. <laughs> oh, did you see the um the meme that was like how to draw sad anime eyes? It was just yeah, draw a large a draw a mogus with large shoes. Yeah. And I'm like I'm seeing this at work and I'm like, I hate that this works. <laughs> Cause I didn't see it. Like I have to like look for it to see it. Yeah. Um but anyway, here's the Tower of Babel. Little tiny city on top of it. Ooh. This looks like a tar pit instead of like a hole. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Spam risk. I don't want that. I don't want any of that. So here's the cave right here. Mm -hmm. Actually, hold on. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drop. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do this because I can just do this. Kid. Fine. Oh, they're not park kid. Apparently, I'm too close. You're one pixel off. But hey, we did the next section. That's basically all I wanted to do. I wanted to get here because we've got a lot of exploration to do, which means lots of time for talking. Uh, we'll have a D&D &D session in between uh, now and then. If not, I, I'm going to need to write some, down some stuff that we can talk about. Mm -hmm. But, uh... I think Dragon Quest XI might be actually a really good one that we could do. We could have that talk. A bunch of what you like and dislike so far. Mayhaps. But we're going to explore Eblon next time. I'm going to actually give you guys a normal bit of pink of what to look forward to. If I can actually walk in the fucking building. No building. No, no, without walking in. Okay, well, maybe not. But you get to hear this theme next time while we go through stuff. Very good thing. <laughs> Spooky. Um. Oops. So I do. So depending on how close we are to the end of FF4, by the time October rolls around, I may say we postpone spooky streams until we finish, so we can just finish it mm -hmm. and have so that way anyone who is like super vested in this playthrough, uh, they can have all of the vods available to watch if they've missed it. So they're on YouTube, they're on YouTube's uh, dot com, uh, Dragon Kurosk. So that way they'll all be there. Then we can move into Luigi's Mansion. Because I just thought about it. It's like, it's the 20th. We have, like, just over a week. And I don't yeah. think we'll finish in just over a week. Also, it is your username, Archives. That's right. It's Archives. There is the Archives on it. Uh, I, might have I just... felt I would need to correct you. Because I... I, I tried to look for it, uh, you know, to take a peek at views. I have... <clears throat> YouTube uploads. No, I changed it to Dragon Kurosk. You did? I did change it. It was recent. When did you do that? It was recent. I thought that might help it a little bit more. <laughs> it was Dragon hmm. Kurosk. You can tell when I changed it because I have that little thing up in the top left. If you look at it, uh, the day that I changed it, I changed that. Hmm. I forgot <clears throat> to tell people. Well, fair enough. <laughs> so I was right wrong. 
you were you were right. But I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> That's my bad. Uh, however, uh, let's our, use our new va uh, newfound freedom that Sid has given us, and let's get a, a raid going. I saw some people going live while I was live, but I don't remember any names, so... Wahoo! Uh, uh, you know what? We don't get a... You know what? Okay. I'll leave, I'll leave this to you. Grand or Gaijin? Uh, Gaijin. Gaijin. Gaijin's playing RoboQuest. I don't know what RoboQuest is, but it sounds cool. Smart. We're in a raid Gaijin. Gaijin. Roomba. No H. It got stolen. Just jokes. So, take care, everyone. Have a great night. Uh, I'll be back with something on Thursday. I still don't know what it's going to be yet. I think it's Rune Factory. But, uh, take care, have a great night, and I'll see you then. Have a good night.